Pat Senator, and I'm here today to talk about my latest recording project called Ascensione. It's a trio album that uh, I did with two of my favorite young players, Josh Nelson, the pianist, and Mark Ferber, the drummer. After letting a little time go by and listening to the album, I thought it was really, really a good album. And obviously, that was reinforced when uh, Sal Levine and his daughter Stephanie, who own K Jazz Records, decided that uh, they liked it very much and they programmed seven tunes. And that was really, uh, really very rewarding for me because normally they don't. Uh, program too too many local guys and, and you know, it was it was really a, an honor because they felt it was good enough to to play on their station One good thing about jazz, it's it's timeless. You know, you could, it's it's there's no time limit on it. It's not like pop music. You know, it's here today and gone tomorrow. But jazz things, they uh, they have a long life, especially if they're they're good and they're uh, not real current music that's going to pass uh, pass by quickly. As is Ascensione. When we did our record release party, everybody really enjoyed it because. The actual sequencing of the tunes just flowed so well and we played that exact sequence when we did the live performance and the people really reacted to it well because it just flowed from one tune to the next and it was, like I say, we performed the whole CD and, and uh, it was well received. And of course these two young musicians are outstanding. Josh is one of the great, greatest young pianists in the scene right now. And Mark is my favorite drummer. He's uh, living bicoastally in New York mostly and here, and he's killing everybody in New York. He plays with everybody and they all love him. So I'm really proud of that CD and proud to have these two guys on it with me. It was a tune that I wrote. I had just returned from Positano in Italy, which is one of my favorite places in the whole world. And uh, I was just inspired by that whole uh, Vida, La Vida Bella or whatever, you know, it was just a beautiful feeling to be there. And I wrote this tune and the tune just kept ascending, you know, uh, harmonically and melodically. And I felt like this uplifting feeling from it. So that's where the title came from. And also <laughs> the first tune we played, usually when you do a recording, you might just do a tune more or less to warm up. So I, I said, let's play a blues, and we just kind of invented the tune as we went along, and it was just really spontaneous, and again, because of Positano, uh, I, I, fresh in my mind, I call that tune Positano Blues, and as I said in the liner notes, it's kind of an oxymoron because it's so hard to have the blues in Positano, it's such a beautiful place, but you take the blues in a different way, the blue ocean and the blue sky and so forth, and, and that's how that tune e evolved. 
We started and ended the album with the tunes by Michel Petrucciani, who was one of the most remarkable people in the world. He was an elf and he had this bone disease, they called it, the glass bones. He, he, he'd tap his finger against something and break a bone. And his body was, the upper part of his body was a normal as a normal human being. And then the lower part of his body was like a little elfin. He was almost like a midget, you know. And he was literally carried around, like when he, he played with Charles Lloyd's group, Charles used to carry him and put him on a piano bench, you know. But he was such a marvelous musician and he worked at my club in Malibu, Pasquale's. And I just got such a closeness and a warm feeling from this man. He was so unbelievable that we started with that tune and we ended it with a tune called The Prayer and it was the perfect way to end the CD because it was just like the end of, of a tune and unfortunately it, it reminded me of his life. He died, he, he died, I think he might have been around 30 or 35 and he should have died when he was uh, a teenager or less, you know, but he, his life was longer and he had a great attitude about life. In spite of his handicap, he was just Amazing. I had him at my club one time. He played solo piano and he was into this deep thing where he just had everybody like almost at the point of tears. It was so strong musically and he just started laughing and said, ha ha ha, I got you. And it was, it was uh, the kind of a person he was. He had that kind of a personality and never uh, even acted like he had a handicap, you know, and, and he literally would uh, would crawl around like a baby on the floor. You know, he couldn't walk. His legs were kind of uh, weak in, in that sense, you know. But anyway, that's the two tunes that we used of his. Then we did another tune by another of my favorite people in the whole world, Wayne Shorter, who I went through kindergarten all through high school with and was a marvelous musician and, and an unbelievable person. And I just couldn't do a CD without including one of his tunes. And we did his tune uh, on the CD as well. He's, everybody knows Wayne Shorter, he was with Miles Davis, he's one of, he's just the top saxophonist in the world right now. He's won every award you could imagine and he's a dear friend as well. You know, a very deep kind of a person that uh, you know, conversation with him is, leaves you with a big question mark over your head. You don't know, he's so far out, you don't know what he's talking about, but we know each other as we grew up and we have a lot of mutual friends and when we do have a conversation it reverts back to Newark, New Jersey where we went to school and some of the people we hung with, you know. CD, like I say, has a nice flow. Each tune just flows. This sequencing is very important in a CD how you have the album flow so that people don't listen to two tunes and shut it off. You want it to flow so that they put it on and they want to keep listening till it's finished. And I think Ascensione has that feeling. And again, it was when we played a live record release party at Vibrato, that was the way the audience re reacted to it as well because it just flowed one tune went to the next and it was like a presentation. And, and uh, it was enjoyed by everybody because of that, you know. Ascensione, and, it, and it, it's an Italian word, it means ascension, like the rising, you know, and, and that's what I felt from the tune as I wrote it. I just felt this, this, the melody just kept rising and the, the harmonic structure kept rising and, you know, it just it was like uh, uplifting in a sense, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's a real easy tune and uh, we did it in one take, we played it and it, it's perfect in one take. I said, well, we, we don't have to mess with this. We have it, you know. Again, my name is Pat Senator, and the CD contains music from all the people that I've had experiences with over the years. And of course, the two great players that made it all cohesive and made it a, a, a project that I'm proud to say uh, I'm involved with, but 
Without Josh Nelson and Mark Ferber, it wouldn't be. So I thank them so much. They're two beautiful guys and they're my dear friends. They're like sons to me and I feel that kind of a connection with them both. And I hope you enjoy it because it was, it was a labor of love and, and we really uh, all put our heart and soul into it and we hope you enjoy the music. <laughs>